Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. We're Pub Mode Travels, I'm Dan. And I'm Bob. Welcome along to another video. And this one is... Today we are unboxing another advent calendar. Yes. So the next one we have is a unusual one for us. Uh, it's like a beauty type, not beauty one, a grooming one. Oh, I can smell it already. It's from Bayless and Harding. We got this from Boots in the UK. It does say £45 on it, but we actually got it for £22.99. Um, I don't know whether that is an uh, offer they got on all the time or whether we happen to have a specific offer on that day. But yeah. So we're going to be unboxing this one. It looks very pretty. It opens up like this. So 24 days of golden doors. Uh, you opened the first one of the other one, didn't you? The previous mm -hmm. one. So I'm going to do this one, which is this one here. So I'm assuming we get samples and stuff um, of certain cosmetics, but here we go. Our first thing is a hemp and bergamot soap. So there it is. Let's open this up. I suspect most of them are going to be little um, sample sizes of things. Ugh. Ugh. I like it. It's hemp. I don't really like hemp in a soap or anything like that. Not my favourite. Yeah, but the um, bergamot just takes it off it. Possibly. I can't really smell the hemp, to be honest. Yeah, not my favourite, but hey ho. The fuzzy duck. The fuzzy duck. So it's Bayless and Harding. All of it is Bayless and Harding, but it is the fuzzy duck brand, whatever that is. <laughs> Would you like to open number two? Might as well. We have... You can get it out. Yep. It's and Harding, black pepper and ginseng, hair and a body wash. Oh, which camera are you doing on? <laughs> Just tilt it to get the light. And let's have a sniff. Yes. Take the lid right off. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, that one's quite a nice one, actually. Um, though it is very much just a soapy smell to me. Mm. I can't necessarily smell the ginseng, or maybe that is what soap, that's what ginseng smells like. I don't know what it smells like. No, me neither. <laughs> We're probably not the best people to be opening this type of calendar. Where is number three? Number three is up here. It's uh, written rather than numbers on this one again. Ooh. Bear with, watcher. Ooh, pretty little. Yeah, so we've got a little uh, face wash. Again, it's the black pepper and ginseng. Uh, let's give that one a smell. It's probably gonna smell exactly the same. Oh, it's sealed. Luckily we will be using it, like most of this we can use. Um, neither our faces are, or skin is particularly sensitive. Again, it just, I don't know. It just smells very much mm. like a soapy smell, but. And it's dribbled. I'm sorry. Dribbled all over the place. Mucky pup. Yes. Number four. In number four we have... Gears of 4-4. Four, four. Gears of 4-4. Four, four. <clears throat> Fuzzy Duck Hemp and Bergamot Aftershave Balm. So again, another one along the same scent. Interesting. So we try and, it's probably just going to smell exactly the same as the other thing, but... I'm getting a better, nicer smell on that one, personally. Whereas, I'm struggling to get any scent from it at all. <laughs> very, very faint smell of something, but... Maybe that's why I'm getting a nicer smell, because I can't smell it very much, and I didn't like the hemp. <laughs> well, you are slightly anosmic. I am slightly anosmic, but I'm weird, because sometimes I'm anosmic, sometimes I'm not, so... Number five, next. 
Oh, that's a nice colour. Oh, and I like the sound of the, the scents on this one. So we've got citrus, lime and mint, hair and body wash. There it is. Let's give this one a smell. This one hopefully will smell quite nice. I can smell the mint. I'm not sure I can smell the other smell, the other scents though. Yeah, you definitely get the minty. Yeah, I can't smell the citrus it, yeah. personally. But it's not, it's, yeah. it's nice. I think it'd be quite nice. Yeah, it's just mint making it maybe. Yeah. yeah. But mint's nice. It is. And hair and body wash, yeah. Yeah, like the tea tree or sort of mint we used to use. Yeah. Sometimes if you use it on certain parts of your body though, um, it can tingle quite a bit. Yeah, I'm just checking. I don't know. It's off the phone finding it. I'm sorry. Eh. Yeah. Well, you've got another little bottle that's well wedged in there. We have got the black uh, pepper and ginseng bath soak. So we know that's going to smell. Well, what we'll smell Definitely it anyway, and we'll show it on the cameras as well. I think my nose is getting actually. I'm not as smart as it. I'm getting attuned to it because. I don't really smell it much, that one. Yeah, I can smell it, but again, it just smells very soapy to me. So, yeah, there it is. Nothing special. The bath soaks. Uh, we don't tend to use, we don't tend to take baths. Um, that's not to say we don't wash, we just don't use. Yeah, we have showers every day instead. Yeah, we shower, uh, as we did for this, this video. Number seven. Nice, pretty gold. Uh, Christmas tree? Christmas tree, sorry. I'm concentrating. Okay, so, so far it seems to be along all the same kind of scents so far, but we've already got this one, this scent. Um, so it's another citrus, lime and mint, but this time is a cleansing soap. So I'm gonna open it. It's probably gonna smell exactly the same, but I'm wondering if we're gonna get any other citrus scent in this one rather than just the mint this time. Mm. Mm, I'm getting less mint smell, but not any citrus. Yeah. I don't get much mint at all, to be honest, no. No. I, I get... I smell it can make, make a bit of what smells a bit like lime peel, but... Really? Because lime isn't a very strong smell, you've just got I the suppose. actual... thing. It, like lime cordial is strong, but lime... Yeah, I suppose. You think about natural lime as it is. I think when I think citrus, though, I always just think lemon. Mm. Right, so number eight. Down the bottom here. Another blue and white Ooh. bottle. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So far, we've got, got three it. different scents. Citrus, lime, and mint again. This time it's the shower gel. Mm hmm. Any more? Mm, it's a strong, it's a strong smell, but still smells mainly of mint. Yeah, it is. It just smells of mint to me. Again, I don't know whether it's because I'm anosmic, as I said, um, or whether it's just not as strong on the other, on the other uh, scents. It's fine. It's still a nice scent. Don't get me wrong. It's not horrible. Right, number nine. Number up oh, there. It's because it's written rather than. And your hand was over it. Yeah. Okay, again. So, so far we are just sticking with the three scents. Ooh. So we've got another hemp and bergamot. This is the face wash. So here we've got the, the face wash. Um, I'm trying to remember to film to this camera as well as that one. <laughs> Let's give it another sniff. Again. Hmm. I don't know. I can't. Uh, it smells better. Yeah. It smells better than the soap to me. But again, I don't know whether it's just I don't I don't like hemp that much. Just my preference. The only problem with these type of calendars is they're all subjective. If you don't like the scents, you don't like the scents. Like, mm. just to show you what's in it, though. It's your go. Number ten. Ho ho ho! Just trying to show it on the yeah. thingy camera. There you go. <laughs> Number ten down the bottom here. Yep. It's not easy to open at this angle. Just hit the side of the box, I think that's the... the ah, okay. The lid. Oh, that looks different. It does. Oh, but it's the same scent though. 
It is citrus, lime, and mint aftershave balm. Okay. The bright orange colour threw us off a bit. I think it was something new. Yeah, because all the others of that are all blue. So that's interesting. <laughs> I don't really get any smell from it. No, I'm not getting any smell, smell from it. Um, but yeah, there it is. Just It's a completely different colour to the rest of it. All the other in the same scent of that colour at the moment. You had orange on the box. Yeah, I suppose. So yeah, um, as you probably can tell from most of our videos, we don't shave. So we aftershave balm doesn't get used very much in the house. But yeah, Bob's going to put a little bit on his hand. I just want to see what it, I can smell a bit when it's... On his hand. Hmm. Yeah, it does come a bit through a bit stronger once you put it on, which is good. So that's nice. Maybe that's where we're going wrong. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't necessarily rub shower. Yeah, shower gel on the camera just to test it. No, sense. I know. Right, number 11. Okay, this is another of the black pepper and ginseng. This one is the conditioner. We do use conditioner. Well, I use conditioner. This is my beard. Yeah, it's. I can't smell very much of it. Um, it does smell all right though. I'm getting a, a smell of. Note to self: don't squeeze a bit too hard when you're trying to sniff it. <laughs> if you squeeze it, the white stuff comes out. Anyway. But yes. So that was that one. Technical. I, I can't even remember what number that was. Number eleven. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So we're now at the halfway point. Number 12 I saw over here, I think, somewhere. One eternity later. There we go. Ooh, different colour. So it might be in luck with something new. They're quite difficult to get out of the box, so we apologise for the fumbling. There we go. We have got... Oh, too far. There we go. Hemp and bergamot shower gel. Ooh, shower gel, it's always good. Yeah. We tend to use a lot of body shop stuff. Uh, so we jump body shop shampoo, conditioner, and um, shower gel. So, half a bottle. So it'd be nice to have a bit of a, a, cha a change. I can smell it a bit better than that. Yeah, I'm getting the, um, I was gonna say I'm getting the black pepper from it, but this isn't the black pepper one. I, I realize this looks really weird if I keep sniffing these bottles, but it's the only way we're gonna know what the scents are like. It's halfway point, let's see if it starts changing. I'm going to suspect that we're gonna get the same for every one of the three different scents. Well, so we've now got four of each one. Mm -hmm. We've got soaps, shower gels, aftershaves and that. So I don't know whether they're gonna keep on with the same set to get a bit of everything, or whether now you've got four of that, they might change it to different scents. Yeah, my only thing is, is that I'm thinking maybe we're gonna get a soap for the black pepper and ginseng, for example. Yeah, and um, shave balm for yeah. that one. Yeah, baked pepper one. There's only one way to find out. Keep on going. Yep, so we're going to open number 13 up here, which is not letting me open it very well. So let's just... Black pepper and ginseng. This is the shampoo this time. I like the fact they all they all match. Um, as opposed to like the purple, the blue and orange one, which was slightly different, but um, I'm gonna sniff it again. I know there's probably no point because it smells exactly the same as the, all the others. Yeah, I'm gonna do this so you don't squeeze it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not nice once it's on, but yeah. yeah. They're not bad scents at all. I don't hate them. The hemp one, the hemp soap is not my favorite, but yeah. All right, so that was 13, number 14. Is over here. <laughs> Both of us staring for ages at the counter. Piece calendar. fourteen. Piece. I'm gonna have to go from the underneath because. Oh. Citrus, lime, and mint. Muscle soak. We are destro destroying this calendar. <laughs> so the muscle soak for. Citrus lime mint muscle soak. At this point, it's not even worth opening the bottle. We know we're yeah. going to smell of mint and anything else. Yep. And then it's not even on right. 
we didn't, so just so you know, we didn't look at the, we looked at the back of the calendar just to see what type of things are in it, but we didn't look to see what scents are. So we weren't pre, pre prepared. It, yeah, we didn't, we didn't spoil the surprises. Yeah. Uh, right, 15, 15, 15. Here we go, 15, the little ball ball. Bergamot and hemp. Again, this is the shower gel. Again, this is going to smell the same as hemp the others. Hemp and bergamot shower gel? Yep. What do you have oh. from bergamot shower gel? So we're now getting duplicates. So that's not good because there are other things that we can have in it. So interesting. That's a little bit disappointing. I am already on alert now. Okay. We're not even going to open that one because we already have it. Yeah, just double checking it exactly the same. Check if there wasn't some sort of slight variation that we missed on the label, but no. Could be a mistake, but let's see if you we can, know. You can check the back later on after, so it might tell us exactly what's supposed to be in it. If we then start getting loads of duplicates, we know it wasn't a mistake. Yeah, so right here, number 16, nice and shiny. We have got black pepper and ginseng aftershave balm which we do not have yet. So there we go. Yeah, we won't smell that one again because it's going to smell the same. But this is not a duplicate. But not a duplicate. Um, next is number 17 up here. We have hemp and bergamot muscle soak. Okay, so this is a different one of the set, I think. Yeah, we haven't had the muscle soak yet. So muscle soak. There it is. Again, I'm going to sniff this one just to make sure. Yeah, it smells the same as all the others. The scent is exactly the same, which is not surprising considering it's the same scent. <laughs> Let's change that. I know. Right, that was... 17. Okie dokie, 18. Let's have a little look. Looky, looky. It is. Da -da. Da -da. There we go. That took me a while looking at I'm going to blame that on the glare of the light because I couldn't see the number. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's going to be somewhat chunky there because you try and press down on this and it's pressing down on the thing inside it. Yeah, I found a few of them like that. So, there we go. It's because it's a soap box. Aha, this is going to be... The Black Pepper and Ginseng Muscle Soak Crystals. Oh, that's Ooh. slightly different. So, here we go. Let's have a look what they look like then. This is different. I won't open it, but I wonder if we can smell it through the packet. No. <laughs> yeah, get that focus. <laughs> that looks really bad. Like, <laughs> it looks sketchy. <laughs> Bag of crystals for you, mate. Bag of powder. But yeah. That, <laughs> that, that, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that's for a bath when it says um, muscle soak. Again, we don't use baths very often, but... We have um, sprinkle into bath under warm running water. But once in a while, though, nice sort of soap. We say that, but we've got loads of um, bath bombs in the bath oh, yes, that have been used. For a while, you did uh, body shop, didn't you? Yeah. So, oops, wrong. Number 19 next. Open, open, open. Come on. There we go. It's another hemp and bergamot. It's a different coloured bottle. They seem to favour that. Oh no, maybe not. So we've got the bath soak. I'm assuming when they say bath soak, it's like bubble bath type thing. Um, again, it's going to smell exactly the same. Yep, yeah, exactly the same. So I won't pass the bottle to smell because there's no point. But yeah, yep, there yep. it is. Not too bad. At least it's not a duplicate. Correct. Number 20 up here. There you yep. go. Another chunky one by the looks of it. <laughs> Citrus, lime, and mint shower gel. Oh, we've already got one of them. I was just going to say if we only had shower gel, and there we go. So another duplicate. Oh, uh, ah, wrong way. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? Looking in the mirror, pretty much. Right, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, duplicate of the shower gel. Yep. What number was that? Twenty. Right. Twenty-one. Oh, 
This is quite a good one that I will use. So this is the citrus, uh, lime and mint, and this is a foot lotion. So um, yeah, I will definitely use this one. I'm gonna smell this one because it's slightly different texture probably. So I wanna just see whether you can see it. Just getting the mint again. I'll just put a bit on. Yeah, put a bit on my hand. This is foot lotion and clearly this is not my foot, but let's see. It is a limb. It is a limb. Mm, I'm getting something else that isn't just the mint. Mm, smells nice. Slight undertone, yeah, that is a nice one. And mint's quite good um, for helping uh, achy feet and stuff. Yeah. That was 21. 22. Look for an undamaged box, so that narrows it down. <laughs> I know what it is already. Yeah, I saw it earlier and I can't remember. What I saw. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a tree that. From that, I'm looking at the camera, mm. that it shows it nice and clearly, all yep. these numbers. From my angle, they don't. That's what it is. It's just excuses, that's what it is. Ooh, that looks like a pretty bottle. <laughs> Or is it just the stuff that's in it? It is the black pepper and ginseng again, body lotion. Cool. Um, oh. You need to be a little e bit. Let e <laughs> but we are professionals. I've never <laughs> claimed to be professional. The yeah, body lotion, yeah, that's. Is that, have we tried that one on ourselves? I can't remember to see if that smells. We've or got it. hair and body wash. And I know we haven't got, got bath that. Bath soak. So, yeah, look, I'm just checking we haven't got. That one. Have so, we, I mean, have we tried that scent on us? Because like the other ones, we might have tried the scent. I can't remember if we can get any out. Do you want me to put my finger in? You got smaller fingers than I got. <laughs> A little bit on her. It's like being QVC or it's called, isn't it? It actually smells nicer when it's on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 23, Christmas Eve, Eve. Here we go. So one more to go after this. So this is the penultimate one. Barely something good in the last one. We've got a body lotion again. We haven't got this one because we haven't had this kind of top, but it's the hemp and bergamot. So hemp and bergamot, um, the body lotion again. So let's try a little bit of this one. I'm running out of space on my hands though. Do you want a bit on your hand? Yeah, on that side of the yet. I'll try not to use too much of it up to start with because. Um... Does it feel nice? Oh, yes, definitely. It smells nice. It does smell better than other hemps that I've had. I've used like hemp lotions from. Body shop, and I don't like them. Yeah, I used to get it for myself, you know, mm. really bad dry beards in the early 20s. Yeah. All those years ago. Um, it's only a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That leaves us then with the last one on Christmas camera Eve. there. 24. See if it's anything special. No. No. Nope. Like. <laughs> it's a citrus lime and mint face wash. So there we go. I'm not going to smell that one because it's going to smell exactly the same as all the others. So here's the full range that we received today. Um, it's just the three different scents. So you've got the hemp and hemp, you've got the hemp and bergamot, the citrus lime mint, and then the black pepper and ginseng. Um, disappointed in the fact that you get two duplicates. Not too many duplicates though, only two, so that's not too bad. Not too worried about that. Yeah. The scents are okay. Not my favourite, but they are nice. I mean, it does show you on the back what you get. Yeah, so I was just going to look at. If you, we deliberately didn't do it in the store, but yeah, yeah it does show you there. Show it on the other camera just because it might be a bit better to see. Yeah, it shows you the pictures of what you get. Um, so if you know that that's what you specifically want, uh, we don't want to get spoiled by it. Um, majority of it will get used, yeah. I think. Um, Soaps I don't tend to use because they dry my skin out as in like proper hard soaps, but they'll still be used and yeah, I yeah, not too bad. So I wouldn't pay the £45 for it personally. No. That was the full price, but the 22 99 or whatever it was, I think it's pretty, pretty that's decent. A fair, that's a fair price, yeah. So yeah. if you want this, they're probably sold in multiple places, but say this one was from Boots. Yep. So... By all means, check your local boots, see if mm -hmm. they've got it for the £22 that was displayed in our one here in Swindon. Yep. 
Unless you live near Swindon and you want to go down to Greenbridge in Swindon. Yep. But yeah, um, all in all, for the price we paid for it, I think it was yeah, decent. It was worth it. Yeah, decent amount of stuff. It's just a shame there wasn't more variety, really. Yeah, I would have liked some diff, like more scents, um, like maybe not the whole range of one scent, just a few bits from that that yeah. scent, for example. Um, I think my favourite is probably the citrus slime and mint, though. Uh, did you have a favourite scent? I got it. Mm, probably the hemp and bergamot. I quite okay. like the smell of that. Yeah, the hemp and bergamot. Yeah, it's it's not too bad once it goes on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think overall though, pretty good value for what we paid. If you paid the forty five, then probably not. But it is a high end. Yeah. Brand, so that's probably why. Well, compared to what we normally get is higher end anyway. Some people might go. Oh yeah. You, you find it's, it's a range you certainly used to, if not still do, find in hotels. Yeah. Because I used to see the Bayless and Harding in hotels, along with that Summit and Brown. Morton Brown. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So that's our review of this one. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please give it a thumbs up. Let's show you like it. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Does the same thing. So you might as well <laughs> give a thumbs up. Yep. If you really hated this, give it a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> now, it's sometimes good to get some thumbs down because it helps us understand if you're enjoying this type of content rather than... Yeah, but now people will give us a thumbs down instead of a thumbs up just because they want us to have a thumbs down. <laughs> yeah, I know. just said it's helpful. Um, let us know what you think in the comments, though, of this particular calendar. Is it something you'd buy? Um, if you did like this and want to see more from us, Please subscribe. Yep. Click on the notification notification bell. <laughs> ding ding ding. Didn't drink in the um, soaps. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we said we're doing seven of these. This is only day two, so there'll be more of these. Um, and you can follow us on. We've got Tic Tac, Tic Tac, mm, Tic Tacs, mints. <laughs> we have TikTok, Instagram. We have a Facebook page. Uh, what's a group? You can also go to our website, which is puffandbeartravels.com. I completely forgot what our socials are, which also has links to all of our socials on Who's there been too. Thinking of this stuff. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching, and we hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.